Yo, Wagwan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I want to answer the question, is XSplit worth the money or should you stick with OBS? Because OBS is free, right? What's the point of getting XSplit? So stay tuned because the answer to that question may surprise you. Now, I've been using XSplit for around two years now, I think. And I've used it for playing games like gaming stream content. I've used it for straight up camera content where I'm teaching something. And I've also used it for recording videos where I'm recording the camera or if I'm recording the screen. So I've used it for a variety of different features. And now I'm coming to you to give you the down low on whether it's worth it for you, whether it will be useful for your content creation needs. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jcarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for creatives and musicians that don't wanna be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, you might wanna hit subscribe. You might wanna check out the rest of the content on the channel. So, Here's XSplit, yeah? By the way, if you haven't got XSplit yet and you wanna try it out, free trial, there's a link in the description for you to do that. But let's quickly get into this because I don't wanna waste your time and I don't think we're gonna need to take much time in order to get this done. Although my alarm will be going off in five minutes, so give me a sec. Let me actually turn that off right now. All right, so there's two different XSplits at the moment. There's XSplit Broadcaster, and there's XSplit Gamecaster. Now, I haven't used XSplit Gamecaster because I can't use it with my Ava Media capture card. So I use Broadcaster basically. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about Broadcaster and we're gonna be talking about specifically broadcasting our stream to YouTube. Although I do stream to Twitch as well, I generally go through Restream. And as you can see, XSplit allows you to stream to Facebook, Mixer, Restream, Twitch, and YouTube. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to create profiles for these streams so that you can just easily open up XSplit and use your predetermined profile to just go live. You don't have to do it every single time, but I believe um, OBS does that as well. But the main selling point of XSplit is you spend more time streaming and less time setting up because it's just easier to get stuff done. And that is the truth. XSplit gives you a bunch of free overlays, which I've already made a video on that, on all the free overlays and whatnot. I'll link it over there. Thousands of free overlays or hundreds, I believe. I think it's near thousands, I'm not sure. But hundreds of overlays at least and basically it's very easy to get started with xsplit it's very easy to quickly size your uh page uh size your different images and all that sort of stuff it's just a drag and drop interface let me actually bring up xsplit because then you'll understand a little bit more compared to obs obs is like well we'll get into it won't we we'll get into it all right so i'm not 100 percent sure how stable uh, XSplit is um, while I'm using a Camtasia, which is what I'm using to actually record my screen. So I can't really speak. For, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> maybe let's turn off the full screen camera. I believe that's that because otherwise that looks weird. And obviously the camera won't be connected because I am using that on this. So Basically, XSplit is, I like XSplit because it's really, really easy to get some stuff done. Now, let me quickly, let's create a new scene actually. That'll probably be the best thing to do. So we got scene 12 over here. Let's start adding sources. So we can add our webcam, which is like, which will be really, really easy over here. And we can just size it like this. On OBS, you need to go into the options and type the right number and add the padding and all this sort of stuff. And it's just long. In XSplit, you can just be like, okay, this is what I'm doing. This is where it's gonna be. And it's done. It's very easy, kind of like using Photoshop or any other type of uh, creative software. And we could also bring in, you know, files and images, but it's basically just proving the same thing that I just showed you there. It's just easy to drag things around and get things in the right place, which is what you need for 
creating a, a straightforward stream or creating some content using XSplit. Now, there are some more advanced features of XSplit that I haven't really got into, like using stingers and, uh, you know, which would be like, uh, like visual packages, um, like video stingers. So I, I don't know how to explain it. Like kind of like, basically like when you watch TV, they'll have stingers when the show starts or at certain end, certain parts of the show, they'll have different stingers for different sections of the show. So like something, some graphics will come up on screen and you'll know, okay, this is this part of the show. And then that, that will run. And you can do that within XSplit as well, but I haven't really gotten deep into doing that. So I don't know of the functionality of it. I definitely need to look into that at some point. But right about now, like for my uses of streaming, I've just been really, really simple, straightforward, just getting stuff up and streaming, doing what I'm doing. Like in the past few months, I've just been using XSplit to stream myself uh, producing music. So I haven't really needed all the, the other tools that are available to you using XSplit. But it is really, really easy to get started and get stuff running. Uh, as you can see, XSplit empowers gamers to turn their passion into engaging stories, blah, 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 you know, <laughs> PR speak, trusted by the best. You can uh, get to all these other platforms and it works with these stuff like Skype, Discord, Blue Elgato, Asus, blah, 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 a bunch of testimonials. And, oh, Trisha Hirschberger uses it. Yeah, a bunch of testimonials from other YouTubers and stuff. And yeah, they do have 24 seven support. Their support's actually very good. I did contact them. Like I am in XSplit Premium, if you didn't know, or XSplit Elite, but I always tell the truth in my review. So if I didn't like XSplit, I just wouldn't make a review on it. But the thing is, yeah, their support's actually really good. Even though I'm in XSplit Elite, I went through the normal support process in order, I forgot what was the problem. There was some sort of problem and I messaged them on, I think it was, I went through support and he got back to me pretty quickly and basically gave me information that I needed. And it was, it was very, very quick and easy. So I got to give them that basically, as you can see, there's XSplit Academy for in-depth walkthroughs and stuff like that, or my extreme settings. I don't a hundred percent know exactly what this is, but let's get into the stream settings over here. Now, Actually, I don't know if I can do this. Let me quickly pause. Okay, I can. So basically, uh, when I set up stream settings here, it will be saved for every time I do this again. Uh, there may be some other automatic stream settings that I don't even know about that XSplit is taking care of, which is great because I don't need to know about it. <laughs> because I don't need to get involved with that. But generally with my settings everything works fine if you want to know the best settings for using air split with i've got a video on that go and check that out but you can also save all your streams on your disk drive so that you can edit it later down the road and i believe xsplit does have some sort of video editor let's open that up real quick and see how that works because i never use that i w i don't use the xsplit video editor because i've got adobe premiere pro so what i would do is if i'm creating a video using xsplit i'd create it using xsplit i'd export it or i think it automatically is just exported i'd bring it into adobe premiere pro and i'd edit it there so this looks like a really, really basic um, editing suite, but this would probably be really, really good if you didn't have any sort of editing software whatsoever. This just looks like you can cut and move things around. It looks very, very straightforward. Maybe there's more stuff to it. I don't know, but I'm not seeing a lot of tool parts telling me that there's more stuff to it. Maybe there's a transition or something but that's that's the editing thing let's let's get back into what they're saying over here on the xsplit screen okay so that's that for that page let's go through the youtube page because that's what i use xsplit for and this is what's going to be most important 
So up to 4K 60 frames per second with unlimited scenes and sources. Wow, I didn't even know there was unlimited scenes, but I wouldn't make that many scenes. That's a lot of scenes. Intuitive and fast setup with irreproachable stream quality that, as I said, is very intuitive and fast to set this up. Overlays and chat widgets for maximum interactivity with your viewers. That is easy to set up in XSplit. You just, you know, well, you have to follow some instructions. Maybe make a video on how to do that. I do believe I, I did have that set up to do at some point. I'll get that done. Background removal, macro and hotkeys. Um, uh, with preview mode, all you need for a professional broadcast. I don't use macro and hotkeys simply because I haven't looked into it that much. And I generally just do very simple stuff on my streams, as I said before. Background removal is okay. I think the the new Vcam, Vcam, it's not Vcam editor, but XSplit Vcam does it better. It does it very good in order to remove the background of what's going on, basically. Uh, that's a great addition that they added to XSplit. The XSplit Express video editor and multi-track audio with these simple tools, creating amazing videos on the fly and upload them to YouTube and socials. Yeah, you can, it's an okay editor, but if you really want to edit, <laughs> You should probably get a uh, Premiere Pro or something. But the fact is you don't need Premiere Pro to edit all your videos in it. It depends what you're doing. If you're just doing highlights or you're doing a very straightforward video where you're just adding other sorts of footage on top of the video, maybe you got like a, uh, a lower thirds or something, but there's not really much other stuff, then it's pretty straightforward and you can do that in the XSplit video editor. Optimized for the best capture cards, Elgato, Ava Media, Hope Hodge, Madwell and more. I can't speak for that, but it, it worked with my Ava Media when I needed it to, and it was really hard to get OBS to work with my Ava Media as far as I remember. I think it was just way easier to get everything set up with XSplit. Uh, advanced customization uh, features, macro and hotkeys, full automation and easy management of your broadcasts. I didn't use none of that. Although, you know, if I had that Elgato stream deck, then I'd probably use that. Or Mac seam switcher, spend more time gaming and less time managing your broadcast. Whiteboard plugin, I've never used that, but this sounds interesting. I do want to check this out. Allow me to draw on scenes and whatnot. Support all web-based alerts and widgets. Uh, the only web-based alert and widgets I've used has been Streamlabs and that's worked pretty fine. Custom WebM Stinger support for custom and flashy animations. I told you about the Stingers beforehand. XSplit Vcam, remove, replace and blur your background without a green screen, which is actually pretty cool. I did make a video specifically on how to remove your background using XSplit Vcam while it's getting dark out here. Jesus Christ. But yeah, you can download both well, XSplit Vcam, Gamecaster, and Broadcaster. I believe you can get a free trial. Yeah, you get a free trial. Let's actually discard that. You get a free trial, and they're giving you the down the video editor for free. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's pretty smart. So you can get the free trial by going to cronyoutube.com forward slash XSplit. There'll be a link in the description as well. And when you want to upgrade and you want to actually pay for it, I'm sure you can get a lifetime license. Let's see how much that is. Oh, this isn't even a trial. You can just use it for free, but there are some limitations for using it for free. Like you get a watermark and stuff like that. Virtual camera watermark, I don't know what that is. And you can only use four scenes, but you can get lifetime premium license for 199 which is, you know, it's pretty nice as a lifetime license because the 12 months is uh, 59 for every 12 months. Like it's better to get a lifetime license if you're gonna get anything and you're gonna use this for life, it might make sense for you to get a lifetime license instead of a subscription. Uh, 36 months at 149, but $5 a month is, is pretty reasonable to be honest, it's pretty, straightforward in order to you know get your your expert license and try it out and see if that's something that you like or like nearly nine dollars a month so less than netflix you could try it out for three months to see if it's something that you really want to purchase 
but you can get it for free first and then upgrade to the three months and then upgrade to whatever else you want which will be a better deal honestly it's it makes sense to purchase xsplit over using obs for free because with xsplit you're going to get the customer service you're not going to get that with obs because it's open source and it'll be too hard to do customer service with a, with software that is free that's just too difficult it's going to take too much time for the developers and with xsplit you're going to save a lot of time just being able to drag things where you want them to be will save you so much time trust me in obs you've got to go into settings and you've got to move the numbers around and and then look back and make sure it's in the right place it's just it's just not as straightforward as far as xsplit unless they've you know grossly updated it since the last time i used obs which has been a long time ago i'm not gonna lie but as far as i remember obs was just there's a lot of finagling and trying to get things right where xsplit is just way easier to just drag things where you want it to be and it's more intuitive as they said it's definitely more intuitive than any other streaming software i've seen thus far so yeah that those are my thoughts on XSplit, I guess, I do recommend it. I do think it's worth the money because I believe you're gonna save so much time. And I believe the time is more valuable than the money you're gonna spend. However, you can make your decision. As I said, link down below or go to growonyoutube.com forward slash XSplit to try it out yourself. Try a free trial and see if you wanna purchase it or not. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe so that I know that you like this video and you want more of this type of content. Let me know in the comment section and those like those likes really let me know whether I should do more of this type of content or not. So be sure to hit that button. Question of the day, how often do you stream and what do you use to stream? I'd really like to know. Let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, in the next video, you'll learn more about music, online business, or online marketing. I'll see you there. Peace out.